Welcome back. It is Wednesday, April 19th, and the MLB, our three favorite picks are on the way. I'm Austin, joined by Logan. We're in a change of scenery. We're recording a little bit different, but we're going to have a great video. We got three picks, hopefully three winners coming your guys' way. Now, first off, we got a recap yesterday. We'll put our record up at the bottom of the screen. Scrolling. It was a two and two day, losing a little bit of juice. Logan, your Red Sox money line. I, I don't even know what to do with that one. <laughs> that one was a crazy one, but they get it done. The Angels and Yankees go over the four and a half in the first five pretty easily. The Padres were getting no, no hit for the majority of it, but Blake Smell pitched well. Just they didn't get it done. And the Giants, Marlins, no one first thing. We got hit with a home run there. But either way, a two and two day. We can't really do too much worse than that. Hopefully, we can have a three and zero day today, or at least a two and one at minimum. And I think we're certainly capable of getting it done. Now, before we dive into our favorite plays, Logan, I did talk about this yesterday on our on our uh, NBA video, and I do want to make note of it today. There is an underdog fantasy free square. They actually have a lot of uh, MLB props out there. I'm going to post an MLB uh, underdog fantasy parlay on our Twitter at Colin or Shot a little bit later on today. But look, they have a great offer. If you sign up using our code COS1, not only do you get a, a free square on Friday, but you also, which you can just use in any of your entries, but you also get a 100% deposit match. So if you want to take advantage of it, it's code COS1. It's at the top of the description. You'll also see our parlay of the day there, which I'm not, we haven't written it yet, but we'll write it soon. And it's probably going to be three hitters to get it done. We missed by one leg yesterday, I believe. But either the way if you want to check out uh, underdog fantasy definitely go do that but logan i believe you know what time it is it's time to give out some winners and i'm gonna let you start this one off what you got for the people today yeah i'm going to the brewers versus mariners game and i'm taking the under eight and a half total runs in this one minus 115 odds on Fanduel's currently your best value now look when i was picking this one i i had to admit i was conflicted because i also like the first five under four and a half as well now hopefully this isn't one of those classic cases where the first five goes under but the full game goes over you know, so because that's just maximum pain, right? When, when when that happens. But despite each of these two, you know, starting pitchers high ERA, they had decent starts in their most recent games, and neither of these teams actually hit lefties well. It, we do have a battle of the lefties on the mound today. Marco Gonzalez is starting for the Mariners today. Four point two two ERA in his most recent start, or at four point two two ERA on the year, but in his most recent start, five point. Five and two thirds innings pitched and only one earned run, earned run allowed. You like to see that for a guy like Marco Gonzalez because you know Marco Gonzalez, a little bit of a streaky pitcher. I think he can he can string together a couple of good starts. And Milwaukee, like I said, it's only hitting two fifteen versus lefties. That's twenty third in the major league. So at the end of the day, I I think the these uh, Brewers hitters are actually going to struggle seeing Marco Gonzalez the first through few times through the order. And over their last three games. The Brewers only hitting 189 as a team. So hitting sub 200 as a team kind of, you know, lets me know that they're cooling off. I mean, last night you look at the box score, they, they scored some runs for sure. But I'm still going to go with the trends in this one. And I, I like Mark Gonzalez to be able to hold his you know, half of the down. Now, on the other side, we've got Eric Lauer starting for, for the Brewers. 5.28 ERA, but in his most recent start, he went six innings pitch, one earned run in his most recent start. Normally, Eric Lauer, a guy I fade, but I don't really trust this Mariners, you know, team. Everyone always says I'm a Mariners homer. All I, I, all I do is pick the Mariners. Well, at the end of the day, I, I don't really trust their bats. I've seen it so many times. A runner on second and third with like one out, no, strike out and then pop fly, something like that. Seattle only hitting 203 versus lefties. That's 26 in the majors, right? So again, you look at these two teams. They both don't see left-handed pitchers all that well. And Seattle as a team only hitting 181 in their last three games. I told you they're not an offense I can trust. Some days they're good. Some days they're a juggernaut. Other days they're not. Now, last point of note: both these bullpens or both these teams have bullpens I can trust. Right in the later half of the game, once these two starting pitchers come out, are there going to be run opportunities? Like there could be. Right, you know, probably we're going to be sitting at eight runs, and I have to split it. But Seattle is ninth in bullpen ERA. Milwaukee is first in bullpen ERA. Even though they went extra innings, I know we're going to have some comments. Logan, aren't you worried about their bullpens? No, because they have cap capable arms up and down. Yeah, that sure they had to use some relievers last night, but I still do trust these teams. That you know, Seattle has some really filthy relievers that just know how to get the swings and misses. And I just don't think there's going to be run opportunities late, right? I think these two starting pitchers are going to do their job, not implode, and give us a chance to cash this under eight and a half. So that's why I will be on that one. But Austin, what you got for us today, buddy? Hey, Logan, you know what's better than one under pick? 
Uh, why don't we run it with two? Because that's what mine, mine's going to be. And it's going to be in a different game. It's going to be in the Rangers and Royals game. I'm taking the under nine runs over there. And while you look at this one, I really like the starting pitchers we got here today. And I think these bullpens are both capable of getting it done. Now, as we talked about, the Rangers, uh, well, I, if you look at this game, the Rangers, let's just look at the money line odds. The Rangers looking to complete a 3-0 and sweep of the Royals. And if you look at this, the Royals actually come into this game favored. Now, why are they favored? Your, go, your guess is as good as mine. The Royals are 1-11 straight up at home. They've lost five straight games. And if you were to just look at ERAs, you'd be like, um, I'm definitely going to bet the Rangers here. But look, I think the Royals have a chance to keep this one close. And I don't know how they keep it close if it's a very high-scoring game. I don't trust these Royals hitters at all. So let's talk to these pitchers, though. And we're going to start with Mar Martin Perez for the Texas Rangers. Now, he does enter with a 2.87 ERA. On paper, that looks great. Like, under 3 ERA. Like, this guy's pretty good. And he is. But a 1.6 whip, not ideal. He is giving up some base runners there. But what does Perez do? He's not afraid to walk, guys. He's a crafty pitcher. He's not afraid to give up the singles. He rarely gives up extra base hits. In fact, this season. 18 hits allowed, only six of them being extra base hits. I think three homers. So, look, if you're going to hit, get a hit parade up on him, you're going to need a bunch of singles. And in my opinion, i rather a guy that can do that and make all the Royals hitters, not just one or two or three dominate him, I want all of them that have singles and have a hit parade. I don't trust the Royals uh, lineup one through nine, in my opinion. This team is just all over the place. They're constantly leaving guys on base. And, look, I'd rather trust for Perez to at least get through the couple of his innings and then get to their bullpen, which has been really good this year. Now, on the other side, the Royals are going to start Brady Singer. Logan loves Brady Singer. He is a former UF Gator. But, Singer, we're going to need a good performance out of you because your last performance, we cannot afford. You gave up eight earned runs in your most recent performance. We we need a little bit better than that, buddy, but I think he certainly can. I mean, you look at per Singer, he enters with a 7.88 ERA and a 1.44 whip. In fact, his whip is lower than Perez, but his ERA is almost three times that of Perez. Look, this is obviously some pitchers can get out of those tough jams, but this is a, kind of somewhere where I see some regression, positive, and the positive direction coming for Singer. He was much better than that last year, and we saw Singer. He's last two starts, five and eight earned runs. Look, he's going to be better than that. Last year, he was really good at home. In fact, at a 2.76 ERA and a 1.04 whip at home. And the Royals, when you look at them, their bullpen, and then when Singer comes out and we look at the bullpens, look, I, again, why are the Royals favored here? Because the Royals, second highest bullpen ERA this season. The Rangers have the fourth lowest. So when I'm doing a little bit of line reading on this money line, I just see think the Royals have, at least have a chance. That's what the books are saying. The Royals got a chance to win this one. And I don't know how they win it, considering their bullpen's much worse. And when you look at the Rangers have scored the second most runs in the league, and then you look at the Royals who scored the second fewest. So I think if the Royals are going to be competitive here and they're going up against a crafty pitcher in Perez, I think this is a lower scoring game in order for the chances for the Royals to have a chance at winning. So I'm going to take the under. I know a lot of people, I don't know. I saw a lot of people are going to be on the over, but I think the under is a little bit of a sharper play. I think it's the right side to be on. So give me the under in this one, under nine runs. Scoring 10 is a lot of runs to score. I think we've got some push potential there. But those are going to be our two favorite game picks of the day. But I believe, Logan, you know what time it is. And you know what? The kids deserve it. The music's coming out. The OT music. Logan loves this music. We're waving these flags today. If you watched our videos last year, we had a very similar setup. And we were recording this music every single day. It's an electric one. And today, we're going to a great no-run first inning. And let's talk about it, Logan, because we're going to the Guardians and Tigers. I'm taking the no-run first inning over here. Now, this is a pretty decent one. I think we got a good chance at it. I mean, yesterday, we lost in the top half of the first inning. Nothing, No sweat there. We just got hit with a homer, and you could just turn off the game. But I think we got a chance here, and let's talk about this one. Because I would probably play this about minus 125 or so. And I'm, when you look at these two teams, they played a doubleheader yesterday. They went your feet and Nerfy, so they split it. And let's talk about Spencer Turnbull. We talk, talked about talked about him in his first start of the year. He gave up a Yurfi. Yeah, we were on that one, and he hurt us. But hey, since then he's two and zero. He's two and one on the season so far. And like the Guardians are an annoying team. We're not going to say oh the Guardians lineup cannot score in the first inning. This team stinks. But our twenty first in first inning runs. We know they got guys like Quan and Ramirez at the top of that lineup, which do give some firepower. Couldn't have put some guys on base potentially, but. I do think that Mr. Turnbull, obviously, he's looked more dialed in in his most recent start. I think he can go out there and get us those first two outs, or first three outs, and then we need who to rely on for the second half, Logan. Yeah, we're going to Cal Quantrill, right? He started for, for Cleveland today. Quantrill, if you look at his, his season sample size, one and two on Nerfies. You don't, you don't like a losing Nerfy record, but if you look at who those yes run first innings were, he faced the Mariners twice, and they Nerfied in both those games. So Mariners obviously had his number. Good thing he's not facing the Mariners today. He's facing the Tigers. 
Tigers 30th and first inning runs. At the end of the day, guys, I mean, I I just I'll take I'll take a Tigers nerfy any day of the week simply because that offense just hasn't shown any consistency. Hey, they've been winning games, right? I'm not knocking the Tigers one bit. The Tigers have the longest uh, – Austin told me this morning, Tigers have the longest uh, winning streak in the American League right now. Clap it up. That wasn't on my bingo card. But the over-under in this one sets seven and a half or eight in, uh, you know, total runs in this one. I think Nerfie Nation stands a really good chance to cash in this one. We also did consider going back to that Giants-Marlins game, but – Guys, I know the pitchforks would be at our head if we we lost back to back in the same game, picking it three times. So we're gonna di- we're gonna diversify our our assets a little bit, and we're gonna go to this nerfy because you know it's gonna cash. Come it on. feels right, and we're waving these flags. Of course, there a lot of the games are early today, so hopefully you're watching this video early. You get your picks locked in, and hopefully we can have a great start to the day. Go three and zero potentially. Obviously, if you want to recap of all of our plays, they're scrolling at the bottom. We're going Brewers, Mariners under eight and a half. Rangers, Royals under nine, and then that Guardians and Tigers no run first inning. Appreciate you guys for sticking through us for this, you know, this uh, different video than normal as I'm going to change the scenery on the road. Can't edit as well, but it's going to still be a great day. If you want to sign up for Underdog, make sure you look at that link down in the top of the description. And, of course, you'll see our parlay of the day there, which lost yesterday, but I think it's cash today. We'll see you guys back in the next one, though. Peace out.